Hearing the alarm in the morning is terrible. <laughs> when the alarm rings at five in the morning, it's, it's really, it really does not feel good. You have to get up and you just gotta put your feet on the ground even when it's dark outside. I would describe the overall student athlete experience as one very different from the normal student experience. It's one that is very testing, yet very uh, fulfilling at the same time. Just grinding it out with them, 7 a.m. workouts, um, you know, just long practices and things like that that really bring us together and which really makes us a family. And I think in that aspect, that that's, that's a good thing about the student athlete experience. I would definitely say it's challenging, uh, fun at times, um, and at the same time, it's a great experience because you're living a dream, basically, that you've been working for all your life. Um, the hardest thing about it is probably uh, there's just not enough hours in the day, really. I mean, there's some days where you wake up early in the morning, you got to go to class, and it seems like you don't even get home until it's time to go to sleep. So just finding time to uh, get some good hours so you have enough energy to make it through the day is definitely the, the hardest part. You find time to study any moment you can get in the day, whether it's 30 minutes or walking to class with no cards. It sounds pretty nerdy, but that's pretty much how I function. So. Any moment you can get, you study, mostly late at night or early, early mornings. When I think about like all the tests that I've taken and you know jobs that I've worked at and all the hard things that I've done, I feel like, to be perfectly honest, training as a distance runner is so much harder than all of that. I mean, I'm studying for the LSAT, for the SAT, for a test. I feel like the amount of time and dedication that has to go into training for these longer distance races um, you know, it really builds that work ethic that can just carry over to anything else. Conditioning has changed a lot over the years and I think that we, we definitely use it to our advantage. I think we, we go harder in the weight room than a lot of other teams. I think we're one of the only teams in our sport at least that lifts every day of the week and uh, every weekday. And I think it gives us a definite advantage. Being in the weight room is a big part of being a student athlete. Uh, we put a lot of hard work in there. Um, my favorite part about being in the weight room is competing with uh, my teammates. I think being in the weight room is extremely important, especially for me personally because I'm smaller than most of the people on my team and most of the people in the league are a lot bigger and stronger. So I think being in the weight room is extremely important and we've been having some tough workouts the last couple weeks, but I think it um, in the off season is also extremely important to be in there, so. <laughs> uh, community service was something actually I looked forward to when I got here, uh, being able to work with kids because that's something I love to do. And I really think it's important for us to give back to the community just because they come and support all of our programs here at UCI. And I feel it's really important just to give back. It was really fun working with kids. It was just funny how like I could not be in the mood or be tired and like one of them would say something that would make me laugh or something and just like change your whole perspective and attitude on the day. When it comes to eating healthy, of course our coach wants to emphasize it and um, he's really into what we put in our body is gonna be on the field later on. Um, so of course we really do wanna eat healthy. Personally, I love junk food and it really is hard, but um, try to be as healthy as possible during season, especially because it really does affect your performance. When you're a uh, distance runner, you typically wanna have 3,000, 4,000 calories every day, almost double than what the regular uh, person has. When we go on road trips in order to pass the time, we sing a lot, uh, like Taylor Swift, or we try to rap too, and um, it drives our coaches a little crazy, I think, and um, they definitely try to change the songs, but we'll just sing over them. Can we hear a little bit? Absolutely not. <laughs> no way. 
If I had a couple hours in my day to do anything I wanted, I would probably take a nap. <laughs> it's because I need the sleep, and that's probably what I would do. My favorite place on campus would have to be the park, just because a lot of times it's really quiet and peaceful, and I like to go there and, and kind of just relax, and if I have time, and uh, uh, just uh, de-stress. My favorite place on campus would have to be Eldridge Park, if it's not in the weight room or in the gym. And that's because I love being out in the sun and I frequently will take naps out there when I get the chance to. I'm giving you guys a secret right now and I'm surprised, so I'm a senior so it's okay, but go to Langston Library, fourth floor, there's these couches, like the little two-seater couches, you just ball up, put a jacket over on, 20 minute nap, it changes the entire day. So fourth floor, Langston Library. That's my little go-to. Oh, and of course I'm studying there as well. Never just taking naps. Mm -hmm. Best place on campus to catch a nap is in the library. They have ottomans on the fourth floor. They're basically like beds and you can take a nap for a couple hours and no one even notices. The best place to catch a nap is probably in my car, in the parking structure. <laughs> in film, we, we go through film twice in two different orders. First, we, we go through by every rotation that the enemy team's gonna be in, and we kind of see what they're gonna do when they're lined up certain ways, so we can, we can tell based on which, which rotation they're in, what their offense is and what the distribution of different plays are gonna run is. I have to miss a decent amount of class when we're in season, and in order to make it work, I talk to my professors so they know that I'm gonna be missing their class. I have a really open relationship with them, and I take all my schoolwork with me, and when we are driving, I'm reading or writing or emailing. Last quarter, I did have to miss a lot of class, and that was definitely a struggle. But I make that work mainly by just reaching out to my professors, which best way is through email. And I've been very fortunate for them to um, give me a lot of consideration and work with me. Having a job and being a student athlete uh, just kind of adds to the overall you know, experience. It's a little tough, but uh, I work at a record store, so you know I get to experience music and you know, I get to learn stuff every day through that, so it's, it's awesome. People know, like, there's an inside joke with a couple people that I'm, my nickname is like the hungry elephant. I'm like a baby elephant where if I don't have food, I get super upset. And so I always have to be eating. So the pasta place and the pizza place are my go-to places when I'm not working out, so yeah. <laughs> I wake up very early. Um, I try and when I schedule my classes, I make sure I have enough time to eat uh, right before class. So I usually go straight from class to lunch, to practice, to another class, to dinner, to study, uh, study hall. And I, I don't sleep much and I also commute, so I don't sleep. Personally, I like to study in the morning right when I wake up, but I don't really get to do that because of practice. So usually I just, whenever I can find the time in between classes or at the end of the day, maybe. 10 years from now, the thing I'll remember the most would probably be the connections that I've made and the process of making those connections and just all the memories I've made with my teammates, with my classmates, with my coaches, you know, with the staff and just to see the change of culture in the program that took place during my four years here will be something that I cherish and something that I remember for the rest of my life. I mean, our coach always tells us, like, matches, you won't remember them. You just remember the big moments, all the work that you put in, and all the time that you spent just working for a common goal with your teammates, and I think that's the most important thing. I think the toughest part of my day is after practice and after class when I have to study for class. It's really tough when you're tired from weights and from practice all day to sit down 
and just chunk out a couple hours of homework it's, and reading, it's rough. So that would be the toughest part of my day. We have a lot of great times, so I think that'll definitely stick with me for a while. The camaraderie is something that you can't replicate, and it's amazing. I think the thing I'll remember most about being a student athlete is just how much more memorable I made my college experience and how glad I will be that I participated in it, just to be a part of something that was like bigger than myself. Irvine is a point away from back-to-back -back titles. Sander. For the first time in 17 years, we've got back-to-back -back national championships.